Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Thrift Sip. Today we are going to talk about my side hustle, my Etsy shop, and about my apps and how I'm doing with my apps and earning extra money there. If any of that is of interest to you, please take a second and subscribe down below. My channel is also about my personal budgeting journey. It is about savings challenges. It is about cash envelopes, sinking funds, a little bit about my debt, and a little bit about my investing, which we haven't seen in quite some time, but that's okay. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and spending a little bit more of your time with me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. And everyone, take a second, smash that thumbs up button. All right, so we are going to start with my apps and how I am doing with my apps this year. So I have been doing an app here and app there, not much for a lot of years, probably close to 10. Like I think my Ibotta, I think I've been a member of Ibotta since 2014. And it's just, I would go through phases. I would do some, I would not do some. I would do some, I would not do some. I'd earn some money and it just, it was never consistent. Well, not too long ago, probably August, I watched Ange Denton Budget and she does a work your apps off. And I was like, oh my gosh, that lady has saved like a thousand over a thousand dollars I want to say she's earned like fifteen hundred dollars cash plus gift cards and it's just like holy cow um, Rosie you really need to get serious about all of that so in September I really started to concentrate I picked up a handful of more um, if any of these are of interest to you that we talk about today please use my referral code if you don't already have one of these um, it helps me it helps you we both get bonuses most of the time but I really stepped up the couple of apps that I had and then I added more apps to it and oh my gosh I can't tell you how much it's changed how I look at this I mean it's something that I'm now fully vested in I just need to keep up with it and I'm hoping that these tracking sheets and coming to you once a month to talk about my apps will help me do that so I have a variety of apps I have them on two different kinds of pieces of paper one where I can track everything at one time and one that tells me what it is what my reward type is, and then how and what I'm going to use it for. So I have Shopkick. Shopkick, I pulled $25 out in December. I, for a total of, I have pulled $125 from Shopkick this year. So exciting. And it is cash that goes to my PayPal account. From there, I then deposit it into my account, and that has helped pay down debt. I have Upside, which is gas. Um, Upside and I kind of have a love-hate relationship. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. It just really depends. But so far this year, I have pulled out $49.71 in cash. Again, it goes to my PayPal account, and I then have used it to help pay down debt. I have another $12.69 in there. Once it gets to $20, I will cash out again. I bought it. I pulled $50 cash out near the beginning of the month for a total of $163.18 cash that I have pulled off. And all of that money has gone towards my grocery bill. Now I'm at $23.78, so I need to go ahead and withdraw another 20. I will do that before the end of January. I'm kind of waiting, gonna let it build up a little bit more, but I bought it for me is strictly for grocery money. It's where I get all of my coupons back from. So I figure, why not? Cash walk. So Cash Walk is where I have an app on my phone, it counts all of my steps, and I pulled out another $5. They only have gift cards. Um, I've decided to change this up a little bit. We're going to do gift cards for this for Amazon from now on, but I got another $5. When I make it to 3,000 points, I get to pull out another 5 that uh, branded survey, I've, I'm done. I'm going to cash out on the 826 and then I'm just gonna walk away from them. It's not something that I'm really into. Fetch, I didn't pull any money out, but I did get a $25 gift card earlier this year. Um, I need 25,000 points, we're only at 17,000 points, so it takes a little while for Fetch to grow, uh, mostly because what I buy when I scan my receipts doesn't get me extra bonus points, but sometimes I do, which is how I'm already up to 17,000. Receipt hog, I need 4,300 points. I'm only up to 16. I do not have enough money, but it's gonna keep building. It will be pulled off as cash. Receipt jar. So at the end of December, I had not pulled off. I only needed 2,000 points. Receipt jar. I needed 1,900 points to pull money off at $10. Um, I didn't realize that until I was filling this out. I was like, oh, Rosa, you gotta get you 10 bucks. So I got my $10 the other day, and I need you to know that it took probably three days for me to get my receipt jar money. Um, again, I send it to my PayPal account, so it 
took a little while. Receipt Jar does it differently than like Shopkick and I bought it. It takes a couple of days for it to process through the system, but I did get my $10, but not for December. It'll go towards January's. Uh, Receipt Pal, I am up to 980 points. I pulled another $10 off for a gift card for a total of $10. Yay! Maryfield, um, I need, I think it's 5,000 points. I do, I need 5,000 points. So I'm closing in on getting a $10 gift, or no, a $5 gift card. So getting close, but still haven't gotten there. And then I recently started Coin Out, and I am up to 2,820 points. And for Coin Out, I need 24,000 points to get $25. So that one's going to take a while. We're going to have to really test out whether I like this one or not. So for the month, I pulled out $75 cash, $15 in gift cards. For a total for the year, $335.89 in cash and $55 in gift cards. Guys, that doesn't sound like a month, a whole lot, but for four months worth of work, I am in awe that I was able to do this. So I have made slight changes to how I'm gonna track this in January. Thought I'd go ahead and show you. Let me get this out of the way. I am calling it apping all the way to the bank. Um, Ange B Dutton Budget calls hers um, work your apps off. I think it's adorable. Um, but I went ahead and changed it up a little, apping all the way to the bank. I am doing two different sheets, one for things that I'm going to get cash and one that I'm going to do things for debt. And again, it's both, um, it's everything that you've seen over here. So just gonna track it. So this way I don't have to have two pieces of paper anymore. It's now all on one. So I know for Shopkick, I'm gonna pull out cash, it's going towards debt, and I need 6,300 points to equal my $25. So it's one quick glance place. Something else that I have committed to this year is Cash Walk. I can only get gift cards to Cash Walk, but it's 3,000 points, which essentially is 100 points every day for 30 days, and I can earn $5. And all I have to do is keep my phone on me when I walk around and collect all of my points for my apps. So. I started the new year, today is the fourth, I started the new year by writing down how many points I'd received every day to intentionally, and that's the key, intentionally earn a $5 gift card in the month of January by earning 100 points every day. Like I get around 80 something, 80 points from steps, that's 8,000 steps. And then I've earned, they have some free things at the bottom that you can do little spins, claim your money. And I've done those and that's roughly 20 points every day. So that's my 100 points. And so far this month I have gotten every one. Now today is the fourth, so I don't know where I'm at right now, but I'm hoping to get another 100 points. So I need to be at 1990 by the end of today when I go to bed. It is intentionally saving $5 gift cards. So I'm hoping that throughout the year I can earn $60 from Cash Walk and maybe even a little bit more because if I continue to be over 100, it'll start help build up a little bit more. But I'm really enjoying Cash Walk for that. And those are my side hustles. I cannot believe that I have cashed out $330 this year and 55 in gift cards. It is just wow so i really look forward to what's going to happen in january through december and this is just um january through june's on the front july through december's on the back so it's all it's just a way to give me large enough boxes to do this and then for my side hustle some of you know if you're new here you don't i have an etsy shop in which i don't do a lot of promoting i don't do a lot of work on it right now i am in the process of work with the holidays. The holiday has been crazy. We had a wedding in November that was out of town. That was a whole lot of stuff. So I haven't done much with my Etsy shop. Um, have not intentionally sat down and built any additional sheets. Um, I sell a lot of the stuff you see on my channel. I sell that on my Etsy shop. Um, I have not in any way, shape or form done a good job. We um, at work are transitioning from one program to the next. So trying to learn that is taking up my spare time and I've recently restarted going back to school so that I can go get a different degree. And again, that just, I've, I've let all of that take up my spare time, which shame on me, good for me, whatever you wanna call it. But I have not devoted serious time into my side hustle. Some of you have put amazing things down below. If you have any ideas or suggestions of things that you think I should add to my Etsy shop, no guarantee when I'll get to it, but I do have a list of things that as people recommend I write down. 
So last month, in the month of December, I was paid, I made, I sold $26.50 worth of stuff. My fees were $3.21, so I earned $23.29. Now my Etsy shop is digital downloads only. I am not taking the time to grow my Etsy shop in a way that I ship anything. I want, I don't want to be strapped to, oh no, Rosa forgot to put her Etsy shop on um, vacation mode while she was out of town. Just those kinds of things stress me out. I also don't always have time to print, cut, laminate, color, whatever it is, orders when they come in. So because of that, I just have not moved into that. Maybe when life opens up a little bit, we will see. So I made $23.29 from Etsy. I break that up into three categories. I, If I make more than $600 this year, which I won't, but I wanna go ahead and start putting it to the side. I have to save for taxes because Etsy will report that to the government that I have made and earned money through them. So I take taxes as 30%. Whatever I make, 30% of it goes into here. And the reason I do 30% is because typically when you and I work, our boss, we put 15% into our roughly 12 to 15% into our taxes and our employer puts in another 12 to 15 percent for our taxes which averages out roughly 26 27 percent I round up to 30 to make sure I've covered all of my bases so that 30 I take 23.79 I multiply it by 0.3 and I came up with seven dollars so we are going to add seven dollars at Z plus seven which will give me nine and seven is 16 26 dollars in here all right, so I said seven, pull 15 out, should give me 26 if I've done all of my math right. 20, one, two, three, four, five, 26. And that leaves me with $16. That $16, now really and truly there's some change here. I'm leaving that change in the bank. Um, I have realized I don't like dealing with all of this change so I'm just rounding everything down when it comes to what I'm stuffing so I only stuff 23 not 23.79 so that seven dollars went into taxes right now the remaining portion of that is mostly being split close to 50 50 when I have grown my business and I am making more money every month and I have begun to figure out what subscriptions I want what additional things and I might need to purchase because I do print things at home before I sell them I want to see what they look like when I print them out um, for example these were an expense I bought these to make sure that things would fit inside of the different size envelopes these are not something I use on a regular guys if you use these on a regular I commend you because I hate pulling things in and out of these oh my goodness but I went ahead and bought them so that I could test and see how do things fit inside of my different envelopes. So I have a growth fund in which I am intentionally growing my business. And then I have a me because, well, guys, I have to get paid. And right now I am not paying myself um, per hour when I do the work. Instead, what I am doing is I am paying myself a portion of the profits when I am done. And right now that's 50%. So out of this $16 that's left, eight needs to go into growth and eight will go into me so oh, let's put today's date Etsy we are adding eight which would give me 26 47 25 35 45 46 47 is in there and then I needed $26 in here, 10, 25, 6, 10, 25, and 6. All right. And last but not least, we will go ahead and pay me. And there should be $8 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yay! Let's add 8. And that will give me twenty-seven seventy-nine. So there should be seventy-nine cents in here. Seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine. All right. 
that backwards. So we said what? 27, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now, because it is the end of the year, I am going to pull me out. I've actually already spent my $27. I cannot wait to show you what I spent my $27 on. And then I'm going to put growth into the bank so that I can start to pay back some of the things that I have already purchased, like these envelopes and then um, some extra paper and some different types of paper and some ink. So this will go back to the bank to start to pay those things back. And from now on, um, as we go through and my growth begins to build, I'll be able to pull from it so that I don't have to pull mo money out of my bank and then have to pay myself back. So it'll be really nice to have a growth fund set up, but I cannot wait to show you what me has purchased. I love it, but it's not here yet, so I can't show you. It should be here tomorrow, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video done because I just needed to get everything in its envelopes. If you have any questions or just want to say, hey, I'd love if you drop it in chat, I will answer them and say, hey, back. I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.